Hi, how are you? This is Henry from AffiliateGuru.ZXQ.net. Now what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be adding some table of content here. Now before we do that, to avoid having to, uh, once we add the table of content in our place just here, what we're going to be doing is we're going to also need to jump back, have something at the bottom here which is going to make it easy for you to jump back to the uh, content page if you want to. So we'll start off with that part actually. We'll go over here to insert. We're going to scroll down to, um, we're actually going to scroll down to footer and we're going to scroll over here to where it says default and click on that. Now I'm going to just scroll across and I'm then going to say click here to go to content page. Now, we're already near the content page anyway, so oh, I must have gone further down than I realized. Okay, I'll just go back up the top here. Okay, this is a book I'm actually writing at the moment. It's, uh, you see, I'm a pastor and I'm writing a book called The Fruit of the Spirit Is and I'm going to be making a series of it. There's nine fruit of the spirit and um, this happened. Love is the first one and that's going to be what the entire book is going to be about. Love. Fruit of the spirit is love. So yeah, we're going to just go up here. Uh, this is playing up a little bit because of, I'm recording so bear with this for a minute. There we go. Go down. Now we'll just shrink that down to say six and then I'm going to Hit this over here to the left. No, no, we'll make it about 12 instead. That'll do. Now, we want to put a proper table of content in here. What we're going to do, uh, before we do that, we'll go back down to here and we'll go, uh, what we'll do is we'll uh, show you, we've got here, click here. So you want it to be able to go back up here. So what we do is we highlight this one here, table of content. And then we go over here to format, no sorry, insert, that's my apologies, and we scroll all the way down to bookmark. Now where it's got here, it's going to actually be blank, so what we write here is table of content. Now what we're doing is we're actually bookmarking that. Now we go like that, and what we can do now is go scroll down to this part here. We highlight this pay this part here. Bear with it as it's playing up a little bit. We'll highlight this here. That's all we need. Go to hyperlink. Do that again. There it comes. It's a bit clearer now. Now what we do is um, we hit target. We hit bookmark. Scroll down there, and you hit table of content and then you hit apply and apply. Now what that'll do is that will create cause that to become a clickable link. Now what we have to do to make that clickable, see how I hover over it says control click to open hyperlink table of content. Now what we do is you just hit control and then hit up and it takes us to the top of the page. Now what we also need to do is I'm going to show you this. You see how it says here disclaimer? Now this disclaimer is under what they call heading one. Actually, so is the table of content. I'm going to change this. I don't want the table of content to be heading one. I want the table of content to be, say, heading three. I don't particularly want it to be heading one because I don't want it to be the, yeah, I, I want it to be different to the rest. So what we do is we, we now take this to where we want to put it. We'll put the table of content just there. So we go to insert. We scroll down to index and tabs. We go over here to index and tabs. Now, we'll go to here to click entry. You see how it says entry just there? Well, we click on that. This is running a bit slow because I'm recording at the moment, so just bear with it. Just bear with it for a second. Da -da 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 -da. Sometime today would be nice. There we go. Entry. There we go. Come on. There we go. Now, you see how I've got the E here, right? The E says entry. 
Now because we're already on heading table 1, so we just leave it on 1. You could, if you have subheadings, you can make it, you know, one is uh, heading 1 and one is heading 2 and, and so forth. But to do this, all you have to do is, see how it's got the white bit just here? So you, you click on the white bit beside the E, and then you hit hyperlink. Now what that will do is it'll actually move the link across here. It was there, and now it's there. So what we now do is we go over to the white part here, click in there, and then we hit hyperlink again. And then all we have to do is hit OK. And look at that. There is a simple little content table right there. Now, scrolling down, you see I've got my disclaimer there. I don't want my disclaimer in that spot. So I'm going to actually hit that down to go into the next page. Now, because it's different now, I'm going to have to correct this because it's no longer on page 2. It's actually on page... Um, it's now on page 3 so what I'll do is we right click and we go update index table and bingo disclaimer is now on page 3 now I'm going to show you something I'm going to go over here to this one here love always hopes I'm going to hit control see how it hovers over it hit control and then click your mouse so what I'm going to do is hit control, I'm going to click my mouse, and there it goes. I'm on there. Now to go back to the top, all I have to do is click on that, and I'm back at the top. I could do that all day long, as long as I'm not recording. Anyway, that's all from me. So if you'd like to know a bit more, please don't hesitate to visit my website at www.affiliateguru. dot zxq dot net God bless for now have a great day